Hello everyone, Human Vegetable here with Alchemist 00A. Hello. And today I have a uh, new creation for you. I have made this castle you see. It uh, it has eight TNT cannons up front that will shoot anything in front of it. Uh, a crap load of hour dispensers on the corner towers, on the front, and on the other corner towers. Also, two more additional TNT cannons on the corner towers and on this layer right here there's um, there's there's supplies armories potions all this crap for the defenders and below that level here more TNT cannons and underneath it uh, more arrow dispensers and below that we have a bottom TNT uh, cannon system that can that drops TNT and it explodes wherever it wants. Like, let's say you want to explode when it t when it just touches the lava, you can do that. Or if, when it's halfway up or a quarter way or wherever, um, depending on the delay you set, which is which is pretty easy. I'll show you all in a minute. Also, uh, these cannons are controlled in through a central room. And on top of the central room, room there's this big watchtower, so you can look at everything around this castle there's no 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 place to hide and you'd have to you have to run at this castle like guns blazing and of course beneath the castle is this gigantic pit of lava which is also very deep it's 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 about 10 blocks deep right now I'm on the very top of the castle it's a very scary drop down um, right there that blip a little pixel running around where my crosshair is that's alchemist and he's just running around and as you can see there's pretty much no place to hide unless there's clouds and then you have a place to hide if you want to drop down real quick you just use these ladders and you will take no damage by doing so and this is the this is another platform it allows for more visibility see I can see him a lot better now uh, this is the platform where everyone should be but the but the upper layer the upper upper tower allows people to protect the skies because if if the enemies come from the skies then you're screwed man they got everything so I'm gonna go down one more layer I'm gonna show everyone the central control room for the TNT and to go down we there's two ladders one in each corner one here and another in that corner we're just gonna go down like such uh, now we go down here and what we have is the central control room you can you can control the TNT so this is the water wall switch if you flick it the server lags a lot and a signal will be sent to open up all these pistons and water will come out. You can just imagine it. I don't want to flick it because it, it just lags a lot and it's not it's nothing noteworthy. Now, each side has four buttons. Uh, there's long range, mid range, close range, and then self destruct. Like let's say the enemy's already there and he's trying to um, scavenge the dispensers and you just press this button and boom, he explodes. So I'm about to demonstrate what these cannons can do. All right, Alchemist, can you fire close range, please? Okay, and there we go. That's close range fire. There was no damage except this little thing right here. Uh, but that's nothing. All right, can you fire mid range, please? Pretty cool. Can you fire long range, please? Yep. Can you press it again, please? Lastly, press mid, long, and then wait a second and then press mid again. Ah, that's not 
exactly what I wanted, but <laughs> whatever. We'll go on another side. Just press the self-destruct button for for our amusement. Where are you? Uh, wrong side. The set. That's uh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right, I got it. Oh god, the lag. Okay, there we go. And it just completely messes up everything. You will notice that there's additional water here. It's a, it's a, it's another inner water wall, so that if uh, an opponent, if an attacker builds up a, a TNT cannon like such or something, and and it fires into these walls, it'll completely destroy the corner tower. But then it'll also hit the inner water wall that's here, and it'll prevent any further damage. As you can see, it says warning water wall, warning water wall. I'm going to fire the ball combination. It's mid, long, and then mid. So, one, two, three. And then we're just going to watch this ball of TNT come out. And it's lagging a lot. Oh, the lag. What's going on? Anyways, the ball goes all over the place when it explodes. Uh, if you press that combination mid-long, wait half a second, press mid, a ball of TNT will shoot out. The inner ball will explode, causing the outer portion of the ball of TNT to fly everywhere on the sand field and possibly your own castle. And this area, area right here, so it's, it's not advisable you do it without the water wall. Anyways... This is a corner tower. You press this button. You get a little creeper firework if you want to alert your buddies. This is the music disc system if you want to put a music disc and alert your people of any any problems. In these corner towers, you have two buttons. One fires a volley of a lot of arrows, and another button fires TNT. It may not seem like a lot, but when you fire a bunch a lot of times, it will it will create a kind of canyon. If you just keep firing, it will just keep getting deeper and deeper. Anyways, I'll show you how to navigate through this maze-like castle. There's a trap door in each corner of the central control room. And out of this door, there's more doors. You see as such, and you can walk through them and go downstairs. This is the uh, central ladder way, and this is one level down. And each corner has their own other ladder way, which leads to lower levels and corner towers if you go up. If we take a look at this, you can see that... You can go to each cannon floor and also the castle towers. This layer is messed up, so let's move on to this layer, which is <laughs> messed up. So we'll go on to this corner. Okay, and we can't go there because that's messed up. And all right, that's, this is good enough. Right here, this is the enchanting room. You can enchant stuff if you want. Right here is the potion room. Lots of good offensive potions. Uh, defensive potions. Okay. Glass bottles and a self-destruct switch, which just, which just blows everything up. This is the armory. We have redstone supplies. Food, TNT, dropper, hopper, fire charges, TNT, arrows, armor, tools, weapons, including these really good bows I made. Flame 1, knockback 2, I'm breaking 3. Dirt, sand, gravel, wood, stone, an anvil, two furnaces, a crafting table, water, bone meal, string, fishing rods, compasses. Uh, jungle saplings, cobwebs, ladders, 
And here's a self-destruct button, which will blow up pretty much all the chests. It'll just shoot out a lot of TNT. Here is the buff room self-destruct trap. Uh, if you flick this trap switch, and and then you step on to, and then you activate the uh, buff room's pressure plate, it'll just explode and possibly injure it and maim anyone in the area. See, I got positive buffs, as you can see, night vision, speed, strength, regeneration, fire resistance. These are the negative buff dispensers, but they only work if you set the trap on, and then you step on it, and you'll think, oh shit. So this poison, weakness, slow, oh, and then that happens, <laughs> blows up the, uh, the whole room. Okie dokie, let's go down to one more layer. Right here, this is one layer below. This is the, uh, this is another TNT cannon room. Okay, this looks pretty good. So let's press this button right here. We'll activate these TNT cannons. And it just, it just pushes out TNT. It doesn't shoot them out at a high velocity, it just pushes them out to kind of hinder people. There's one button for each side. This kind of looks pretty cool. <laughs> this hole, this big hole. Let's go down one more layer. This is a pretty cool looking device. This is the bottom, bottom TNT cannons. And let me go down here. It looks really crazy. And I'll show you why. It, it looks like this. It's, it has a kind of windmill formation. Okay, let's press a button and see what happens. TNT drops down, and then it explodes. But maybe we, we want more delay, so we'll set that delay up to that. See, it explodes a little higher. The more delay you put the higher it explodes. That's when the pistons are opened. Pretty neat stuff. <laughs> Alright, let's do one more delay. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. This doesn't seem very safe, but let's do it. Okay, I hope that didn't damage anything. Did it? Did it? Uh, actually, that looks pretty good. Also, this weapon system also has a self-destruct switch. All you have to do is flick this switch right here. And then press this thing once. If you press it once then a lot of neat little square holes will appear, like such. It's pretty cool looking, pretty neat. And that's that's pretty controlled too. But if you press it uh, three times, then it just goes all over the place. Let's just try pressing it twice at the moment. Ah, pretty neat. Okay, a little more destruction. Let's try Let's try pressing it three times now. One, two, three. And my night vision's wearing off. That's a lot more dangerous than... Uh, actually, this is the most dangerous self-destruct method for the bottom TNT cannons. You can't really press it a fourth time. You'll just, you'll just uh, blow up before you're able to get away. This last layer just catches the water from the water walling system. And this is it. This is the system. This is the the this is Death Castle. I I like that it's a simple name. It kind of summarizes pretty much everything that this castle can do. Uh the most the least amount of people I recommend is two. One to man that tower so you can look at everything, and another to man the 
central control room. Actually, I'll say three. One for that, one for that, and one for the uh, glass platform here. As you can see, you have a good vantage point of everything on the lower levels, so people can't approach you from the bottom. That's it. It's a, th it's a three, three-man system. Oh, wait. Let's... I recommend four people <laughs> want to roam around and shoot people from the corner towers. So that's about it. Tell me what your people think. Uh, Alchemist, do you have any last words? Nope, I'm good. Like, what do you think of this castle? Well, I wish I built it. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'll see you all later. Thanks for watching.